welcome to the Success in Learning Math Center course, Basic Math. Basic Mathematics, a course designed for ninth through college students, high school students, adults who are trying to review and refresh, all of the above. The first thing that I want to talk to you about, though, is how to be successful in learning math because so many people that I've met through the years fear math and they don't believe they can learn it. And so what I've done is designed a formula for learning math. But I'm going to talk to you about the formula in words first because it is in words that you do your logical thinking and your reasoning and not necessarily in symbols such as the formula that I will share with you in a few minutes. In the formula, the first thing that has to be done is you need to add confidence. And some of you say, well, how can I add confidence when I know I can't do this math? And, and you know, by this time I have sat with thousands of students for over 40 years one side by side, one on one. And they, I've heard every reason why students cannot learn math. But I pay them no attention. None of the reasons any attention and don't even want to hear all of them now because I've heard so many of the same ones over and over and over. Why? Because I know that all students can learn math. That is my fundamental belief and I haven't been shown otherwise yet with all the students that I've taught from grade school pre-K to graduate school, all the students that really follow what I teach them learn and do exceedingly well, very well, and they're able to pursue their careers. And I, I am at an age now that is really great for me because I see so many of my students who are now doctors, lawyers, all the different professions, engineers, and they started with that fear in math, I can't do it because my third grade teacher said I couldn't, my mother said I couldn't, my father said I couldn't, everybody in the world said I couldn't learn math, but they came to the math center or I taught them individually and they learned it. So through those kinds of experiences, I can't be convinced that you can't learn math. So don't even try to convince me because it's not gonna work. So what I'm going to say to you, though, is you have to have a plan to learn math. You have to, you need a formula. And the first part of the formula is adding confidence. I will help you do that. How will I help you do that? By showing you that you definitely can learn math. And as you see, as we go through the course, as you see how I teach each topic, you will say, wow, this is easy. Why didn't somebody tell me this before? Well, let's, you'll find out, so that enough of that, you'll find out. But you do need to add confidence. In adding confidence, you'll be subtracting fear. Fear has uh, resulted from being in classrooms where the teacher wants an answer. You say five, raise your hand and say five, you say wrong. And then you feel very intimidated. You feel like you don't know anything. Um, but many times, because you get a wrong answer, it does not mean you haven't thought through the problem. But because you got a wrong answer so many times and you've been told it's wrong, you've given up on yourself. And what I want you to do now is to say, I am not going to fear math. I'm going to give this one more chance so I can learn the fundamentals. Because once you learn these fundamental concepts that I'll be teaching, you'll be able to learn algebra, uh, geometry, calculus, pre-calculus, all the topics that you need to, for a career or for a graduate course or for law school or for whatever you need to use it for. But you must have these fundamentals that will be in this basic math course. Okay, so you're going to add confidence because you're going to listen to the way that I teach it and you're going to say, ah, oh, this is easier. I understand what to do. And then you're going to subtract fear, which is You've got to get rid of fear and you've got to have a positive attitude. You've got to say, I'm going to try it. I believe I can do it and I'm going to try to do it. And I'm going to listen and just, just follow through on the steps that I give you. 
I'm not going to be talking glibish, saying a lot of things uh, that you ought to be able to do and all that. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do in all kinds of problems, the steps you need to follow, what you need to know, and guide you through the entire process, starting with counting from 1 to 10, say. Okay? Okay, we'll start counting from 1 to 10. Is that hard? No. Everybody knows how to count from 1 to 10. Now, the next part of the formula is effort. You have to put forth effort. You have to put forth more effort than you've ever done before. And it won't be hard because one doesn't mind putting forth effort if they can see progress. It's when you put forth effort and you study and study and study and you don't see any progress. That's what's depressing. But when you put forth the effort and you see the results, you get some feedback, it's correct, and that's when you don't mind really putting forth the effort, but you must put forth the effort, you must really work hard. And working hard is not just sitting looking at the book, it's really working through problems, but knowing what to do as you work through the problems. And then you have to add to that time you have to divide your time. Divide your time into hours. Divide each day into the number of hours that you will study. You must set aside time. You can't say, well, I'll do this when I get a chance, or maybe I'll get a chance to work on it next week, or this week, I don't have time, and then expect to learn. What happens is you don't keep the continual flow of learning, and you start forgetting, and it's not connected, and therefore you are losing a part of